Wilson's disease, also called as the hepatolenticular disease, which is a, a disease characterized or characterized by a deposition of copper uh, in the different parts of the body. Now, in this, the mainly when the joint is involved, it will have symmetrical involvement of the joint with osteopenia and there will be ossicles or the bony excrescence. Now in this image what we can see is there is diffuse osteopenia for this young uh, uh, female. Uh, there is diffuse osteopenia. Along with that there is a lunate excrescence as well as radial excrescence we can see in this hand. Even in the contralateral hand we can see that lunate and the radial excrescence. So bilateral symmetrical uh, osseous excrescence along with uh, uh, the osteopenia is a classical finding in the Wilson's disease. So other than this what we can see in the Wilson's will include non-specific findings like chondrocalcinosis might be there, cartilaginous narrowing will be there, then focal areas of fragmentation of the articular surface. Eventually, once the cartilage gets damaged, the articular surface gets fragmented, then there will be uh, subchondral cysts will be present and periosteitis will be present mainly in the trochanters. Uh, and in the spine, there will be irregularities in the end plates and the small nodule. And in the thoracic level, there will be anterior wedging of the thoracical vertebral bodies might be present. So these are the findings that will usually be seen in Wilson's disease. But main thing that we have to remember, there is osteopenia, there is ossicles or osseous excrescence will be present in these patients.